In this video, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the use of GitHub Copilot workspaces to generate code using AI. So what I want to do here is on the screen, I have a table document categories. I want to add that into my project. So I have a typical Spring MVC project here where I have controller, service layer, DTOs and entities, and of course, Spring Data Rust for the repository layer. So I'm going to go in and instruct it to do just that. So I'm going to come over here to Chrome, and I'm in GitHub Copilot Workspace, and I'm going to use dictation that's built into Mac OS to create the prompt. Your task is to create a RESTful CRUD style API for the database table called document categories defined in the file crew-schema.sql. Add a flyway migration script for the document category table. Create a new document category JPA entity in the package data intake domain. Create a new DTO for the entity in the model package for document category. Use Project Lombok annotations and use Project Lombok builder annotations. The entity and DTO object should have validation annotations matching the constraints of the database. Use the Jakarta package. Use the Jakarta package for the annotations. Add a map struct mapper to the mappers package for type conversions between the DTO and entity. Add a Spring Data repository for persistence operations. Create a service interface and service implementation for CRUD operations. Create a Spring MVC controller to support CRUD operations. Add in unit tests using Spring MVC Mach and Machito. The controller is secured with Spring Security, so you will need to add in logic to the test for users. Add test to the mock MVC controller test to support testing of the validations. So it's got some typos in there. I'm, going to, I'm curious to see how it works with the typos. So I'm going to go ahead and click on brainstorm. What it's going to do is review the prompt statement analyze the, the repo, and come up with a plan. So you can see there's the plan. It's come up with a proposed solution. I'm going to say generate plan. So now it's going to take a look at the analysis that it did and come up with a plan of what it needs to do. And I'm just reviewing what it's planning on. And you can also add in items here. And it missed the flyway migration script. So I'm giving an instruction here to go ahead and add in that. We'll see that it does a revision. You got the version wrong, but that's okay. And it wants to do it in that schema script. I say delete that. And I'm going to go ahead and tell it to implement that. Okay, so you can see here that the imports are using the Jakarta. Remember, prev previously that was uh, Java X, so that did migrate to a new package. And then also we can see that we have the Lombok Builder annotation 
data annotation. The not null constraints, so that's good. Same on the DTL, we have the builder, not null constraints, that's good. Looks like it set up the document mapper properly, so that looks pretty good there. I think these annotations are probably not needed. I'm just overlooking the controller. That code looks good. See the test is annotated with mock user. That's good. Now go ahead and validate that. So, and it did get the version wrong, so that's fine. I can correct that. And now I just click on create pull request. And at this point, it's going to commit those files to a new branch. And now let's come back over to IntelliJ. Need to fetch that new branch. So I did do this once before as a test. So a smart checkout. I'm going to revert the changes in this. But I primarily want to take a look at the tests, see if those run. And that package must have changed somewhere along the way. So let me pause to see if I can fix it. So I've got that import corrected, and let's go ahead and try to run this again. You can see that I have passing tests there. So even though I did have to make a few tweaks to the code as far as the tests go, you can see most of the code actually looks pretty good the way it generated it. This would have probably taken me to, to hand code, probably would take me a, an hour or two to code all this up. It is a fairly common pattern that I'm, that I'm implementing, but overall it did pretty good, and it's a, definitely a time saver. It's going to be interesting to see how this tool evolves. I believe GitHub Copilot Workspace is about to be released to public. It's in a technical preview. I was lucky enough to get an invitation to it, but that should be going public pretty, pretty soon. And what I, I found interesting is even though the dictation picked up some misspellings, the AI was able to interpret those properly, like the Spring NBC controller. It was still able to pick that up. It was able to figure out that I want to use Makito over Markito. Overall, it's probably one of the better AI code assistants that I've seen. I like the integration with GitHub. You work right inside of GitHub, create it, and then you can create a pull request and review the changes, uh, merge them into your code. So it's definitely a productivity enhancer.